friends, you are watching Arudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. This channel provides basics of finite element analysis and computer-aided mechanical engineering design and analysis using CAD-related software. Let's get started. Today I will show safety analysis of a single pass parallel for heat exchanger using SOLIDWORKS flow simulation. This is the model. Uh, we have already made it transparent in which you can see the passage of the fluid through this uh, heat exchanger. Okay. The leads have also been provided. Uh, from left side, ethanol will be flowing at a temperature of 78 degrees centigrade and as it is a parallel flow heat exchanger, so from here itself, cold water will be passing at 10 degrees centigrade. Okay, so we have to start from flow simulation and the environment of flow simulation will be started with wizard. We are giving the name of this project as default project 2 and selecting the units as SA unit and temperature will be as degree centigrade. Next. It is an internal analysis and we are considering heat conduction in solids. Next, liquids will take water and ethanol. Ethanol will be working as a main liquid and water will be considered as coolant. Next, the metals. The inner tube is made up of copper and the cooling jacket will be made up of brass. The cooling jacket will provide later on. Default outer wall thermal conditions and roughness will be considered. Next, thermodynamic properties will take, we will take room temperature as, as 30 degrees centigrade. concentration uh, initially through the copper tube 100% ethanol will be flowing so its concentration is 1 and water will be passing from outside so its concentration will be 0 and solid parameters the temperature of the metals will be equal to the atmospheric temperature it will be equal to room temperature 30 degree centigrade Let's finish and this is a computational domain. You have to see that all the parts of this model should be inside this domain. So we can make the domain a little bit bigger in which nothing should be outside. So computational domain, edit definition, we can make this little bigger such a way that all the parts should be inside. Okay, the domain is ready. We can hide it. Next thing is we have to see the fluid subdomains that means the passage of ethanol and cold water we have to show that. So it is better to see the segmented view of this one let's cut it from the front plane. Okay we have cut this one from front plane. Now we have to locate the fluid subdomains as it is a parallel for heat exchanger so both ethanol and water will be passing from the same end okay insert fluid subdomain ethanol will be flowing through the copper tube and its temperature will be 78 degree centigrade and it will be passing from this location so this is the subdomain of ethanol okay green check Next one you have to provide the subdomain of cold water. Fluid subdomain 1, insert fluid subdomain. It will be water and its temperature will be 10 degrees centigrade. The location of water should be provided here. So this is the fluid subdomain for cold water. You can see this is actually hollow one that means inside this one ethanol will be passing and outside it will be cold water 
ओके क्रीन चेक सो द फ्लूड सब डोमेन्स हैव बीन डिफाइन प्रॉपर्ली नाउ लेट्स सी द सॉलिड मटेरियल वी कैन सी द कंप्लीट व्यू सॉलिड मटेरियल्स इंसर्ट सॉलिड मटेरियल प्रीडिफाइंड मेटल्स कॉपर द इनर ट्यूब शुड बी मेड अप ऑफ कॉपर सो वी कैन गो बैक टू द मॉडल अगेन एंड सी एंड सिलेक्ट दैट कॉपर ट्यूब selected done so inner tube is made up of copper next one the outer cooling jacket should be provided with brass again solid metals insert solid material predefined alloys brass or to select that outer cooling jacket is selected done materials have been defined properly next one we have to apply boundary conditions so again for proper application of boundary conditions it is better to select the segmented view of this model so we should cut it from the front plan boundary conditions insert boundary condition inlet mass for it will be 0.001 kg per second and thermodynamic parameters it will be having temperature of 78 degree centigrade and let's see the substance concentration it will be 100% ethanol and no water it will be passing from this end green check next one we have to provide location for cold water so again insert boundary condition inlet mass flow rate will be same of course like the previous one it will be 0.001 kg per second thermodynamic parameters it will be water at 10 degree centigrade and substance concentration it will be 0% of ethanol and 100% of water the location should be defined this is the location we will check done next one two more boundary conditions to be applied at the exit ends of ethanol and water so insert boundary conditions it will be atmospheric pressure yes so we have to apply atmospheric pressure at this end you can check another boundary condition is needed insert boundary condition atmospheric pressure at the exit end of water so all the boundary conditions have been applied properly now let's see the complete view of the model now we have to provide some goals we want some surface goals and equation goal also insert surface goals we want to see average temperature of fluid at the exit ends of water and ethanol also average temperature of fluid at the exit end of ethanol select select other lead number 8 then check now another goal to be defined insert surface goals we want average temperature of fluid at the exit of water so you have to select that location select select other lead number 
green check let us rename these goals as first one is the exit temperature of ethanol we can denote as te exit that means exit temperature of ethanol and this one will be exit temperature of water tw ex now let us define some other goals we want to insert some equation goals before getting that value of lmtd we have to frame that equation and that equation can be framed from the initial boundary conditions and also from the surface goals okay let's take the initial boundary conditions that equation goal we can define as temperature difference at the inlet that will come from the initial boundary conditions this is equal to temperature of hot ethanol minus temperature of cold water this is the first equation goal we have defined another equation goal will be there goals insert equation goal that one we want to obtain from the surface goals and that equation goal we can rename as temporary difference at the exit it will come from the surface goals itself this is the temperature of ethanol minus temperature of water at the exit end okay four goals we have defined now the final one that is lmtd insert an equation goal and that equation goal we have to utilize from our previous goals right here four goals are there so we have to take all these things this is the inlet temperature difference minus exit temperature difference whole will be within bracket divided by ln within bracket inlet temperature difference divided by exit temperature difference bracket closed this is our lmtd so we got all the equations defined now we can run it let the iterations move on our solver has already finished now we can see the results we can see the results from cut plots first one insert cut plots we want to see the temperature of fluid and that to be seen from the front plane it is very clearly seen that at the inlet of ethanol temperature is very high and as it is going towards the exit its temperature is decreasing as coolant is passing from the left hand side also right for the coolant also temperature is very less 10 degrees centigrade as it is approaching towards the exit its temperature is increasing now let's see this one in the form of an animation cut plot one play we can view this with respect to right plane also let's clear and hide this part and we'll see this from right plane cut plot one edit definition and we want to see this with respect to right plane Green check. See from inside, ethanol is passing, it is having high temperature 78 degrees centigrade, and outside the water is for cooling, and that is having low temperature, right? It is better to see in the form of an animation. Let's play it. It is passing from left end to extreme right end. Let's clear and hide. Now we want to see surface goals across the whole surface. Temperature of fluid, we want to check. Let's see. Yeah, from both sides, we can see here from left side, temperature of ethanol is very high in the range of 78 degrees centigrade. And as it is approaching towards the exit end, its temperature is reducing, right? At the exit end, its temperature is in the range of yellow, that is in the range of 50 to 57 degrees centigrade right it is in the yellow and red zone similarly for cold water also it started at 10 degrees centigrade and finally 
its value is in the range of blue that means 30 to 37 degrees centigrade okay let's clear and hide this part now we want to see the flow trajectories insert instead of 20 we want to make this number equal to 60 and it will be seen in the form of arrows only and location should be defined select select other lead number 7 then another one to see for cold water also select select other and lead number 5 green check it is showing the passage of fluid particles but it is not showing at the exit of water so we can add it again any definition we to take this exit of water also select select other lead number 6 grand check now we can see from the entry to exit also let's view it properly it's better to see in the form of an animation flow trajectories clear and hide flow trajectories let's play it is showing the particles how it is moving from left to right and how the cooling is occurring see here ethanol red that means it is in the range of 78 degrees centigrade is passing from left end and as it is approaching towards the right its color is changing from red to yellow and blue and the exit its temperature is in the range of green and yellow that means in the range of 44 to 57 degrees centigrade similarly for cold water also we can see at the beginning its temperature was 10 degrees centigrade and as it is approaching towards the extreme right end its temperature is rising and finally its temperature is in the range of blue that means it is in the range of 30 to 37 degrees centigrade okay these are the values now what is see all our goals that means goal plots before that you have to clear and hide this part four trajectories clear and hide then goal plots insert goal plots when you see all the goals so initial temperature of ethanol was 78 degrees centigrade and after 100 numbers of iterations at the exit end its temperature is 43.63 degrees centigrade similarly for water its initial temperature was 10 degrees centigrade and finally at the exit end its temperature is 30.10 degrees centigrade and finally the LMTD it is 33.73 right this is for parallel flow heat exchanger you can see the results in the form of history that is after 100 numbers of iterations the temperature of ethanol has come down from 78 to 41.85 degrees centigrade similarly for water also initial temperature of water was 10 degrees centigrade and finally it has increased in the value of 31 degrees centigrade and we can see the LMTD value also LMTD value of this one you can see in the range of 34 right these are the values okay so this is all about our today's CFD analysis of a parallel flow heat exchanger using SOLIDWORKS flow solution this is a very basic analysis if you like this video please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye